Last night, I completely geeked out and made ChatGPT create CAD designs for me, and then I was able to 3D print them. And I'm gonna share with you the process. I got so excited, I even broke my Enter key on my keyboard. I know, I'm a giant nerd. But in this video, don't just pay attention to the capabilities of ChatGPT to write STL files. Also, pay attention how I was able to direct it, to navigate it, to go ahead and reprompt it, to give me precisely what I was looking for. Because I feel like this process, this is what's gonna happen moving forward in a lot of tech. ChatGPT is not gonna replace jobs. People like me using ChatGPT is what's going to replace the people that don't use AI. So let's dive in and explore how ChatGPT creates CAD files. So if you're not familiar with CAD or 3D printing, basically any 3D designed shape that you have, if you were to go to 3D print it or just save it as a 3D design, you will see that it's typically a .obj or a .stl file. And if you're curious, then people use these files to put into a 3D printer and it actually prints the file for them. So what is an STL file? Well, an STL file is actually just a bunch of code. So one interesting thing that you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to go ahead and write you an STL file for let's say a cube. So let's see what happens when I ask ChatGPT to write me an STL file for a cube, which is a very simple basic item. You can see that right here, it just starts to generate the code for an STL file. Now, how do you know when this file is complete? Well, well, it's gonna say end and typically this name right here, solid cube. If you don't see that, it's because whatever you asked it to generate was just too long for it to go ahead and generate the response to the prompt for you. So what did I do? I wanted to do something a little more advanced. And so what I did is I tried to get it to create a triangular prism for me. If you're unfamiliar with a triangular prism and you skip geometry class, it's basically just a triangle that's extruded outwards. So there's two triangles on opposite ends, and then there are three rectangles that make up the sides of that prism. And so here I asked for an STL file for a triangular prism, please. And it provided me with this code. Now to make it simple, you don't even need to copy and select here. You can simply just click copy code. But that code, you can't just bring into an STL viewer. And by the way, one that I love is called viewstl.com. You can drag and drop any 3D file here. So how do we take this code here and turn it into an STL file? It's actually quite simple. You're gonna wanna open up a notepad. And in the notepad, all you're gonna wanna do is just paste that code. And once you have that code pasted in, you're gonna go to File. You're gonna go to Save As. And now this part is important. Where it says save as type, you have to select all files encoding UTF-8. And for the file name, we'll just call it triangle1.stl. Remember, you have to put the .stl at the end of it. That is what is going to make it an STL file. So now we simply save it. And then we simply upload the file here. So we'll just go and drag the file over. And as you can see, this is not a triangular prism. It screwed up royally, and if this was a homework assignment, it would get a giant F on it. But I didn't want to give up on the program just yet. I wanted to go ahead and continue to prompt it and see if I can get it to actually give me something that will work. So I responded to it, and I said, that did not work. Can you please try again? It said, sure, apologize for the convenience. Here's another example of an STL file code for a triangular prism. I copied this code in, and then I got very excited. I was like, oh my God, it created a triangular prism for me. But then as I rotated it, I realized this is a pyramid. This is not a triangular prism. Okay, so back to the drawing board. Now I tell it, when I opened it up in a CAD software, it was actually a pyramid shape. Can you please try once more to write STL file code for a triangular prism? It responded, apologies for the confusion. Here's another attempt at providing an STL code for a triangular prism. This go around, they gave me this. I got excited once more, but as I started rotating, oh boy, we're missing two sides, but we're kind of getting close. So maybe I can direct it and let it know that, hey, we're getting closer. 
So I said, this has two sides missing from the triangular prism. Can you try once more to please write STL code for a triangular prism that will open up and be visible in a CAD program? So here it gives it another attempt. I upload it once again and again I get excited. Oh my god, it did it. But then I see that now it's just a stretched out pyramid once more. So instead of throwing my hands up and getting really, really upset, let's give it a little bit of guidance. So I wanted to give it a little more direction. I said, this has visible sides, but it's not a triangle prism. Let's try it this way. Can you write me STL code for a polyhedron made of a triangular base, please, with all visible sides? This is just a different way to describe a triangular prism. And here's what it produced for me. Oh man, I got so excited. We've done it. We've created a triangular prism. And then as I turn it around, it's like the rest of my life. Big giant failure when I wasn't expecting it. So now what? Do we give up? No, we prompt it further. So I tried to give it even more direction and explain the issue. I said, this is the closest you've come to getting it right, but it's missing one side. Please make sure it is a three-dimensional polyhedron with two triangular bases and three rectangular sides, therefore making it a triangular prism. I cannot explain it any more exact. And it told me, apologies for the previous inaccuracies. Here's an updated STL file code for a triangular prism with two triangular bases and three rectangular sides. So I copy this code, but I'm not expecting much of a change. There's already learned helplessness in place. This is like the rest of my life. Nothing ever goes right. And then I put it in and I say, oh, great triangle. Well, I'm going to rotate it around, be upset again. And then voila. It is a perfect STL file of a triangular prism. Did I create this? No. I prompted ChatGPT to create this, and it did. And that's amazing that a program went and it coded an STL file. And now we need to give it some positive reinforcement. We need to go ahead and say this is absolutely excellent. And I actually highly recommend that if you guys are fans of AI and you're using these platforms, the reason they're free is because they need a tremendous amount of data and to fix the bugs and to learn, to improve machine learning, right? That's the whole point. And so over here where it asks you for additional feedback, I always give it. So I said, after failed attempts, ChatGPT provided me with a perfect triangular prism STL file and I was able to upload it to CAD software and further design. By the way, if you're new to CAD, I created a Tinkercad tutorial series. This is a free software platform for anyone to use. And you can go ahead and watch all these six video tutorial series. I don't ask for anything in return. And I also, because I love CAD and 3D printing, and 3D printing has done a lot for me, I created assessments, skill assessments, that a lot of teachers are using to educate their students and they're using it for free because all I care about is people learning. I love STEM and I think that we should keep spreading the magic of STEM, of technology to both boys and girls and inspire the next generation of tinkerers, engineers and architects. Now, I understand that some people might be freaked out by AI and a little bit guarded when it comes to AI entroaching on certain professions, capabilities, or certain industries. However, AI is here. We may as well adapt to it. We may as well use it as a tool to streamline our operations, to work more efficiently, and to be able to produce 10x, 100x what we were able to in the past. I believe that the way it's moving right now, as far as CAD is concerned in 3D printing, AI will be able to work just like Midjourney produces images from text prompts. I believe that we're going to be able to create .obj and .stl files by simply prompting programs in the future. And we're going to be able to sit right there in front of the computer and custom tailor the design to whatever we see fit. So with that being said, let me know if this type of content interests you. I would love to put out a bunch more entertaining tech content like this because I'm a complete geek and I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed creating it. I will see you all in the next video.